Hey guys, welcome to The Slant. I'm Stephanie Gonzalez, and I'm here with Texans wide receiver, John Mechie. John, welcome. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. And I love how you're wearing your gloves because it's freezing outside. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> taking care of the hand. And you're just kind of getting ready for Baltimore. I would say this is kind of Mother Nature helping you guys get yeah, ready for, your, yeah, for Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. It's good. It's great for us. And let's talk a little bit about the last few days. It's been so exciting. And I mean, Saturday's game was electric. So what would you describe Saturday like? Um, it was just a great feeling having all the fans out there. Um, playoff game at home. I don't remember when the last time was, but for us to um, have our playoff game at home was huge for us. And how much does it mean to have the fans there? Because I was there and I had never seen anything like it from the fans in the stands or even when they were buying water or food and they mm -hmm. were just, I mean, it was a party. So how much does it mean to you to have the fans just supporting you guys? A lot. Yeah, I think it was a little bit of like a little bit of a full circle moment with just like whether it be expectations or whatever. And then um, us making it to the playoffs and then our yeah. first playoff game being at home, I think, was was huge. And what has the mood been like these last few days? It's been cool. It's been <laughs> cool. Everybody's kind of been themselves, um, having fun, hanging out. It's been cool. And if you could describe the season in one word, what word would you use? Um, resilient. Ooh, I like that. Mm hmm and you have such a cool story. You were born in Taiwan, which is awesome. Do you go back there often? Do you still have family there? Um, I haven't been back there since probably high school. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of family there. My mom's um, whole side of the family's there. Oh. Um, but I definitely plan to try and get back there soon. Yeah. You also have four brothers. Three older brothers. Three, three. And one of them, he plays in the CFL. Mm -hmm. How, I mean, how does that how was it growing up? You know, do you guys play together all the time? How did you get into playing football? Yeah, I think it was just like we always played sports. We were always like active kids when we were growing up in Africa or wherever we were. Um, and then when we got to Canada, my brothers kind of found football through high school. And I learned football through my brothers. You know, being the youngest, you kind of just want to be like your older siblings and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I learned football through my older brothers oh. personally. And what, how old were you, would you say? Um, probably like nine you were a little, nine. Yeah, a nine-year-old. Nine oh, yeah. And you eventually moved from, you moved to Canada, then the U.S., mm -hmm. and you ended up going to Alabama. So how did that decision come about? Um, I think we're leaving Canada to go to the U.S., I wanted to play football. I wanted to go to high school in America with the hopes of, like, going to college and play football and stuff. And then I think then it was just figuring out where the best place for me was. And I, I kind of wanted to be in the best environment, the most yeah. competitive environment. Mm -hmm. And it just so happened to be Alabama. Alabama. Uh -huh. What was that experience like for you? Um, it was great. It was a great experience. The competition, um, the guys you come in with, um, having to compete every day. And then, yeah. like, Coach Saban, obviously, learning football through him and, and being coached by him was a, was a really good experience. So then let's talk about NFL Draft Day 2022. So what do you recall about that day, which I'm sure was super special for you? Um, I had my family with me. I think that was the most important part for me. Absolutely. Yeah, I didn't think anything else uh, really mattered, but um, having all my family with me, that's the only thing I remember about yeah. it, honestly. Uh, your season, your rookie season was delayed a little bit, but a year later you were back and you were with the Texans and you played your first NFL game. How did that come about? How, Looking back now, how do you feel about all of that? Um, looking back now, um, I'm grateful. Um, I'm extremely grateful and blessed. Of course, I played a lot of football before that. Um, and then um, that happened and it was taken away from you for a little bit and you get to come back to the sport you love to play mm -hmm. um, and get to do it every day as a job. And so I think just gratitude would probably be the biggest word. Beautifully said. And was there a moment where you realized before NFL draft day, all of that, that you realized, hey, I could play this at a professional level, this is something that I can see myself doing for a living. Yeah, I think I think I always had that belief in myself when it came to like athletics and sports. Uh, but of course, I had to go and be tested and then try it out mm -hmm. and, and actually go play and compete and see. Yeah, yeah. And uh, there's also something that I remember hearing and it's just, you know, you're always such a hard worker. That's everything that I've heard about you. So what is something that keeps you going? Um. I think family, yeah. 
I think it was the way, like, uh, my brothers and I were raised. Our mom always just told us to, like, try our best, do what we love, but always make sure that we're trying our best and working hard. So I think just um, family, and I give that one to my mom for sure. Oh, mom. Hi, yeah, shout out yeah, to mom. Shout out to mom for that, <laughs> for sure. What would 10-year-old you, let's actually say nine. This is when you start playing football, you said. So what would nine-year-old nine you say looking back and knowing that, or I guess looking forward, knowing that you are in the NFL, you're with the Texans, you're in the playoffs, what do you think he would think? Um, nine-year-old me. I don't think I – I have no idea what nine-year-old <laughs> me would say, actually. I was still learning a lot of things at nine years old. I just moved to Canada, so so many things were new to me. The people were new to me. Mm -hmm. um, I think nine-year-old me would be, would be really happy with how far I've come. I think so, too. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. We are so excited, so happy we got to chat with you. And we do have one last thing, if you don't mind – Signing the wall behind you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got you for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got you for sure. Thank you. My fingers are kind of frozen. So. I know. We're all shaking here. <laughs> you can pick any spot you'd like. That's the one. Look at that. You have really nice handwriting. <laughs> it's really nice. Thank you so much. And yeah, we'll be cheering you on this Saturday. Good luck with everything. Thank you so much. Yeah, big game.